Hey again, Seth here. So we're back with part two of this little video series on how to get started with Little Link. Um, so if you missed part one, we just kind of covered cloning and deploying Little Link using an amazing service called Vercel. Um, so if you want to figure out how to get your own starter version of Little Link up and running online, uh, check that video out. Um, so in part two here, we're going to be diving into how we can actually edit uh, Little Link. So as you may remember from the last video, this is the standard deployment we were left with, left with um, the default uh, index.html that is bundled with the Little Link code base. Um, so, you know, right now, like GitHub, Twitter, Instagram, nothing here works. Um, it's the default Little Link branding. So we're gonna dive into um, how you can start editing this stuff. Um, so two things we're going to need here, um, GitHub desktop. Um, so go ahead and you can go to desktop.github.com to get this downloaded. Um, you'll sign in with your GitHub credentials, um, and we will clone our repository and sync it on our computer. Um, that way we can edit, um, the code in the index.html um, inside this next product, Visual Studio Code um, from Microsoft. Um, there's also plenty of other code editors out in the world, so use whatever you're most comfortable with, but I think VS Code is very well done and easy to use, and it has some fun integrations with uh, GitHub Desktop as well to make life just a little easier. So um, I already have both these things installed on my computer. Um, so we are going to get started with that. Let me go ahead and open up the GitHub desktop application here. Um, so this will look slightly different for you if this is your first time logging in to the desktop application. But for me, I need to hit file and clone repository. Uh, so once I do that, it's actually going to pull up everything that exists in my github.com account currently. Um, and then we can just search uh, Seth.fail, which was the name of our project that we created in the last video. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just select that and give that a clone. And that'll be super quick. Um, so as you can see here, um, it is cloned. It now lives on my computer. Um, it was in the file folder that was set up in the last clone screen, um, which for me is my local user account slash dev slash GitHub um, and then Seth.fail. Um, so we have three options here. Uh, one of which is view on GitHub, which uh, if we click that, it would just take us to the GitHub repository um, that was cloned into our account. Um, show in Explorer. So this was open the local files. Um, I, I would, I'd recommend doing this. Um, that opened up on my other monitor over here. Um, but let me drag that over here and um, show you. So this this is all the code that is bundled with Little Link. Uh, we have the readme, the index, the images, icons, CSS. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the index.html uh, and get it thrown up in the window here. So we can, we can use this to kind of uh, watch what we're doing on the go uh, and test out uh, all of our changes that we're making. So um, Next up, let's go back over to GitHub's desktop application. We can see open in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And it's going to open the copy of this, this project inside Visual Studio. Um, so first thing first, uh, the most important section is index.html. This is where all the magic happens, right? So um, we have everything labeled out here um, and commented. Uh, that way you can kind of do some decent wayfinding. Um, please let us know if things are confusing. We, we, we want to make this as accessible and approachable as possible. Um, so first things first uh, is this title, Little Link. So if, if you're on the page, uh, that is what is up here in the top that you'll typically see in the browser window. Uh, so I'm just going to change that to my name since this is a personal page for me. Um, the meta name uh, description here. Um, so this is what is typically included in the description for search engines, um, as well as when you share the link with online through Facebook, social media, through text, um, it'll pull like this description down here. 
Um, so, you know, I'm just gonna change this to something simple, like find Seth online. Um, you can make it whatever you'd like. Um, so we'll continue on down the page. Uh, we have this favicon section and um, the your image here section. So um, for a reference that is this portion right here, the little link logo, um, I'm, I'm using the same image in both places. That's just what we do by default for the sake of convenience. Um, I don't want little link branding here though. I don't want that icon. So I went ahead and made, um, two, two different, um, variations of that, which is just my face. So, um, let me pull that over here real quick. You'll see I have avatar and avatar, um, two X over here. Um, and the way we'll replace these is we'll, we'll go back to that folder, the, uh, the Explorer window that was open for, um, the Seth.fail project. Uh, then we'll just go to the images tab here and you can just, you know, drag those in and replace them. Um, so now that's, that's in the project. Um, they don't have to be labeled avatar, avatar to X. This can be any image you want. Um, but that is important to point out. There are no width or height constraints on this currently. Uh, that's something we might update. Um, but given anyone can just upload any type of image they want here, a PNG, a JPEG, a GIF, they can insert a, a animated Lottie file um, or an SVG that's scalable. Um, you can put anything you want here. So just for reference, we're using an image that's 64 by 64 um, right here for this sizing. Um, you can you can add width and height constraints though, if you'd like. Um, so next up is your name. So that's this portion right here, uh, heading one. Um, so we're just gonna change that to my name. Um, and then the, the next portion, short bio, is this part. Um, so we're just going to highlight um, the existing text, get rid of that, uh, and type something in. Super simple. Um, so all right, here's the section you're all here for, right? So this is. These are the buttons. Um, for the sake of this demo, let's rip some of these out. Um, so I just want the first four. So I'm gonna highlight the rest here and just get rid of them. Um, so now we're left with four buttons, our GitHub, Twitter, Instagram, and find us on Facebook button. Um, so let's, let's break down these buttons just a little bit. So uh, right here, GitHub. Um, so class button, uh, this, this is what creates a button styling for this component in general. So that's why it looks like this versus just standardized text. Um, the button GitHub uh, is the styling specific to GitHub. Um, so we will dive to that in just a minute. Um, the, the next portion here, uh, this is the um, where you will insert your link to the service or social media handle, right? So for GitHub, this will just go to my GitHub, which is github.com slash Seth Collins. So this is just where you, where you want this link to go to, where you want it to point. I'm actually going to copy this slash Seth Collins because all my handles are at Seth Collins online. I'm super easy to find. Um, this next little section is the icon, right? So uh, image class icon um, source is icon slash github.svg. So um, that's the icon right here next to GitHub. And if we are in the uh, file folder, you can go into this icon section and see this is all of the SVGs that are included with little link. Um, so you could use and reference any of these or add your own. Um, and those, those icons are scaled to 24 by 24 inside these buttons. Um, and then this last little bit, this is just the button content. So GitHub, right, right here. Um, so to kind of show this in practice a little, let's, let's finish our edits here. So we're going to add a uh, Twitter link, um, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, so 
I, I don't want this to say find us on Facebook. I'm just like a person. I'm not a, a brand. That's just a bit much for me. I want something a bit more generic. So I'm just going to say Facebook here. Um, but I don't want a icon for GitHub for some reason. So we're just going to remove that. We'll refresh this page. Uh, you'll hit Command S or uh, Control S, depending on your operating system, to save this. And you'll come over here and refresh. And here's everything we just typed in um, and is updated and works. So if we hit GitHub here, it's going to take us over to my GitHub repositories. Um, same with Twitter. This one is open my Twitter. Um, works out of the box. That's it. That's like really the basics to this. But um, when it comes to adding um, your own icons and your own button branding, uh, so let's let's walk through that a little. Um, so I'm gonna add this icon back. Um, fix my spelling of GitHub here. That should be capitalized. Um, I'm gonna go to the CSS folder right here. So in the CSS folder, um, let me blow this up and make myself a little smaller so I'm not in the way. Um, I'm going to go to this brands.css. So here's where you'll edit the button styling. Um, right now the button is 48 pixels high. It uses size 18 um, font. Um, you can you can edit and change all of that if you like. Um, and then here is all of our button branding. So um, say we want a, you know, we, we have quite a few popular services here already that you can reference. Um, so just to show you how, how that would work, like if we didn't want this Twitter button and we wanted it to be Discord, you know, we, we could just update this Discord and change this to Discord. Uh, and then we can reference the Discord uh, SVG and change this as well. Um, and if I if I pull back our little link, see, now that's Discord button. Um, so you can change these things to your will uh, however you like. Um, but if you want to make something new in this brands.css file, um, you can just take one of these, copy it, uh, paste it in. Um, so, you know, just give it a name. Uh, I just, I'm just going to call this default. Um, or, you know, we'll just do um, some Seth fail, since that's the, the brand and URL we're going with for this. Um, so you'll change the, the ending uh, here too. So I'm just going to make that Seth fail. Uh, I'm just going to copy paste that. Oops. Uh, and replace WordPress and all of these. So now there's a Seth fail brand. Um, and th that can be any color you want. You can paste in a, something or pick something new here. Uh, we're going to make it um, green, I guess. Um, so also with this green, uh, this would not be accessible with white font uh, texts in the button. Um, so we're going to change that to black. So this color here is the button text. Um, so we're going to change it to black. Um, and the background color is the, the button color itself. So we're going to save this and we can go back over to our index page. Uh, I always like to just copy and paste. It's just a little easier. So we have our Facebook thing. I'm just going to make the set fail. Um, we reference the Seth fail CSS class we just made. Um, there we go. Uh, and I don't want this to have an icon. Um, and then we're going to save that. So now that this is saved, we'll go back to um, our little demo page here. And hey, there it is. Um, so pretty simple when it comes to just creating your own branded um, CSS. Uh, you know, the, the templates here, you just have to copy paste it and make it your own. And if, if you want an image to showcase alongside that, you just, again, you just drop that into this icons folder that already exists. Um, so pretty, pretty simple. But now that I've made all these changes, um, how do I push them back to Vercel? Um, so we're going to open up the GitHub desktop client again. You'll see all the changes you've made are listed out here. Um, 
And what we're going to do is commit this back to GitHub. So uh, the summary here is required. I'm just going to put something just like generic, like changes. Um, you can fill in the description if you want, um, but you don't have to. And then we're going to hit commit. And um, now that we've committed that to GitHub, we have to push it to origin. So we're going to go ahead and push that. And voila, it's done. Um, so let me show you what's happening. You don't really have to do anything now. Um, you know, your Vercel is going to be showing you that a new deployment just happened, created just now, and that it's ready. Um, and, you know, here's the description changes if you want um, of our commit we just published. Um, so if we go to the page, right, this was the URL Vercel gave us, um, seth.fail.vercel.app. If I just refresh this, it's there. It's live. This is like on the internet for everyone to see. Um, there are a few other defaulted things in Little Link that you can take advantage of. For example, um, right now, Little Link is in light mode. Um, some users prefer to have other things in dark mode. So we can discover here where it says uh, our little under CSS, our little reference for skeleton dash light. So we're using skeleton CSS for little link. Uh, we can just change this to dark. Um, and look at that. Uh, it automatically changes the background to dark mode and all your um, you know, text colors are updated uh, to reflect that. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty simple and straightforward. If, if you want to edit these, like if you want a darker background color, you just go here to your skeleton dark. Um, Scroll down right here, body background color. There it is. Uh, we can we can make that um, you know much darker. Save it and see. Um, you can you can edit that to whatever you want. Um, but we we have a set of color that makes the buttons a bit more accessible and readable. Um, but yeah, it's it's up to you. The possibilities here are endless for customization, um, and you, you don't have to even keep this reference to little link at the bottom. Like if you, if you just want to change this to, um, you know, copyright uh, 2021 um, with a fire emoji, <laughs> um, you can you can do that. Um, sorry, remove that little link reference there, um, and you know, come back. Boom, there it is. Copyright 2021. Um, you're you're not required to leave any little link branding. Uh, this is your fork. You do whatever the hell you want with it. Um, it's it's all up to you. Um, so you know we just made these additional changes where we added the dark background and did the footer. So again, we just like open up GitHub Desktop again and put you know another thing. More changes. And we're gonna go ahead and commit that and push it. Um, it's going to happen in real time over here. So if we refresh this, um, it might take it just a second to grab it. There it is. So, uh, just now, voila, it's done. If we go back over here and refresh this, it's live for the world to see. Um, and again, like I pointed out at the end of the first video, you can come in here to the Vercel, um, interface, um, account settings and attach a domain name to this if you want. Um, so yeah, that's that's really the basics of getting started with Little Link. The possibilities are endless. Um, so you know, open the issue, send us an email if you have any questions, problems. I'm more than glad to help. Um, but this is yours to make whatever you want out of it. Um, so best of luck, and thanks for checking out part two of this video. And thanks for giving Little Link a try.